And also, those interested, there will be a panel discussion at 1 p.m. with Dr. Wegar today in T102 in Titchener Building. Okay? Enjoy. Dr. Wegar. Thank you very much. You know, the worst thing in the world you can be is a futurist. Everybody expects you to predict the future, and you can't. I'm mentioning that issue on the floor of the Senate. I'm not particularly proud of that, but it's just a fact that I was involved with uh, other uh, issues. Um, the Vietnam War, for one. I was a, a combat bomber pilot in World War II. I'm not a pacifist. Uh, there are times um, when I think uh, we need to uh, uh, exercise our, our military. Being and empowering that. The question that we're here today to take a look at is what kind of a job are we doing here at Broome? Uh, what kind of a job are we doing in Binghamton? Uh, and what kind of a job are we doing in our own lives in making it possible for other people to sing their song. Two thoughts that I want to share with you before I tell you a little bit about myself. And uh, for all the time and effort that went into organizing this, um, this was my first book, and it's an honor. It's really an honor uh, for it to be treated this way uh, in academia. And I want to thank all of you for coming here today on this day. Um, it's kind of incredible that you did. So, in thinking about fast food uh, as a subject of discussion. Um, what I want to talk about today is uh, the fact that Americans live in about the safest place and one of the safest periods in human history. And given that fact, how is it that there's so many fears in the air and so many of them are unfounded? So why, for example, as crime rates plunged over the past dozen years, why was it that during that same time, a majority of Americans in surveys, young people failed to ac accommodate the trend hawkers? None committed mass murder. But then eventually, in May of 1998, a 15-year-old in Oregon did open fire in a school cafeteria. And the next day on National Public Radio's All Things Considered, a criminologist tried to explain that that incident and the others that had occurred in the recent past did not constitute a trend, that in fact, the youth homicide. And here's what I mean. I think we need change, not just charity, to ensure that every child in Binghamton, the greater Binghamton area, the southern tier of this state, all throughout this country that every child can get a good education regardless of the color of their skin, regardless of which town they grew up on, regardless of whether they have two parents, one parent, or no parent at home. It seems to me we need change, not just charity, to ensure that you can live in safe neighborhoods in this area and that in your future, when you graduate... ...and he said, you have accidentally majored in international relations.